love to the ultimate reality. Human body is composed of five elements. This is gross. Next to it are emotions. And emotions are subtle than the body. Then beyond emotions is mind. Mind is even more subtle than emotions. And the last is the soul, which is the subtlest of all. Things go in this. The emotions like anger, lust, hate, greed, they do not have any source. Just as darkness has no source, it is the absence of light. So too, these emotions have no source. It represents the absence of light, absence of understanding, absence of awareness. In order to overcome these emotional disturbances, more light, more awareness, more understanding, more love is necessary to bring into you. You cannot bring it just so. The moment you begin to have the experience of love, the experience of understanding, the experience of purity. What does purity mean? Purity is another synonym for innocence. If the emotions are pure, thoughts are pure, they are innocent, you can relate to a person very easily. Sometimes we find that the person is not honest enough in his feelings or his emotions are not pure or we say that he is not innocent, he is very cunning. Then we need to abandon that relation. Purity is one of the most important things. If you have understood, if you have experienced the purity, the innocence, the honesty in love, in your thoughts, emotions, then that brings the light in the land of emotions, anger, frustration, hatred, jealousy, greed. And then in the presence of that light, these begin to retreat. Love is the ultimate process of relating. The purity is and honesty and innocence is essential. Relating means you are always starting a fish. You are continuously trying to become acquainted. Again and again you are introducing yourself to each other. You are trying to see the many facets of the other. You are discovering each day something new, something exciting, something exhilarating and something unique. Your eyes are full of wonder. Oh, like those of a child, each time you proceed to relate to the love of your life. This requires tremendous understanding and awareness. You are trying to penetrate the deeper and deeper into his or her realm of inner feelings, honesty, purity, innocence is important. You are trying to unravel a mystery which cannot be unraveled. You are entering into the deep recess of the being. This is the beauty and mystery of relating. Dive into it and one day you have the precious jewel of enlightenment adorning your being and life. You have attained to beyond this. Many different ways I have spoken to bring you home into love that you have alienated with 
Ere long I will sing the glory of love and its loving gestures. Love is the only energy that unifies all the discordance into oneness. First within you and then without. Never forget love is the fragrance of your being. It is the way of communion with the unknown and unknown. Love is the ultimate way to live. Love is the only scripture that connects you to your being. The technique, the way. Love gives you the taste of your being. Never consider love a relationship. You cannot give it a name, form, shape, or anything final. Love is an unseen but realized truth. I keep on repeating this again and again so it becomes a part of you. It is unseen but realized truth. When it grips you, you are over him. And when you enter the inner pursuits of it, you are transformed, you are afresh as if a new breeze, a new aura now surrounds you. And anyone who comes within your energy field feels a different splendor. It comes from the unknown and unknowable, gives you the taste of your being, and before you become aware of it, it disappears. Love relates. Love is the way to relate to sentient and insentient beings. Love is awareness. Love is a way of life, love is understanding, love is your being, love is the way to manifest your being, the hidden aspects of your being. Certainly love cannot be reduced to a relationship. A relationship is something finished, a relationship is none, the full stop has come, the honeymoon is over, the honeymoon is over, now it is no more joyful, no more enthusiasm is there, it is all over. Yet still you can carry it on like the dead corpse. Life moves on just to keep your promises alive. You can carry it on because it is comfortable, convenient and cozy. You carry it on because there is nothing else to do. You carry it on because if you disrupt it, it is going to create much trouble for you. Relationship means something complete. It is finished and closed. Relationship means the flower has blossomed and now we will. Love is never a relationship. It is the ultimate way to relate. It is always flowing. It continues to flow until the river merges into the ocean of life. It is always a river flowing, unending. Love knows no full stop. It is continual. Love's honeymoon begins but never ends. It is not like a novel that starts at a certain point and ends at a certain point. It is not a flower that you smell once and throw away. It is not like a book you read once and close it. It is an ongoing phenomenon. Lovers end, love continues. It is a continuum. It is a woe, not a noun. But we replace the beauty of relating to that of relationship. This is the agony and misery of man. To relate in love is insecure. To relate through love is difficult. To relate through love needs courage, understanding and meditativeness. And relationship is a security. It has a certainty. Relating is just a meeting of two strangers 
maybe just an overnight stay and in the morning we say goodbye this does not mean transient relation each moment you are continuously growing because you are awareness you are consciousness that continues to grow moment to moment scientifically we know that the skin changes everything is changing moment to moment heraclitus says you can never enter the same river twice to you the river seems to be stationary to, to you men and women people seems to be stationary stagnant but they are continuously flowing flowing at different pace that is why the person that you met today is not the same that is why if you understand this you will never feel bored we eat food with mind yesterday i ate the same food and today i am eating the same food it is boring it is very easy to say this deep down if you introspect it means you are stagnant you was not you are not today what you was yesterday or what you were one moment ago the water that you enter into has flown is continuously flowing and as it is flowing it is never seen so to your understanding your consciousness keeps on moving maybe just an overnight to stay and in the morning you say goodbye one moment is gone next moment it unfolds into the next moment one thought comes and it unfolds into a next one and we are after the news of this one. therefore we want to make it certain we want to make it predictable we would like to hold it to be according to our ideas we do not allow love freedom to have its own way so we immediately reduce every bond to a nun or relating to relationship you are in love with a woman or a man and immediately you start thinking of getting married marriage is a legal contract a social contract marriage secures many issues however one thing that marriage does not secure is love mind brings law into love love is brought into limitations its wings and freedom is curtailed remember i am speaking of love as an energy energy is the way to reality and not relationship when a buddha speaks of freedom freedom in love base of mind immediately misinterpret it as freedom in love relations love is embodiment of truth and love relations belong to base of mind and the domain of the physical the law comes into love because love is not there it is only a fantasy and you know the fantasy will disappear one day before it disappears settle down before it disappears do something so it becomes impossible to settle in the world of buddhas with more meditative people with a little more enlightenment engulfing the earth's horizon people will love love immensely but their love will remain a relating not a relationship and i am not saying that their love will only be momentary love there is every possibility their love may go deeper than your love certainly it will have a higher quality of life love then may have something more of poetry and more of god in it and there is every possibility their love may last 
longer than your so called love relationship, but it will certainly not be guaranteed by law, by the court, and by the policeman. The guarantee will be inner, it will be a commitment from the heart, deepest core of your being. It will be a silent communion. If you enjoy being with somebody, you would like to enjoy it more and more. If you enjoy the intimacy, you would like to explore this intimacy even more and more by going deeper and deeper and thus reaching the unfathomable depth of the being. Remember, love takes long to blossom. It is not like wild flowers that mushroom during the rainy season or the spring season and wither away by the evening. And there are a few rare flowers blossom only after the long intimacies on the tree of love. There are seasonal flowers too. As soon as there is sunrise of love, these blossom and wither away no sooner than they appear. They are gone forever. There are flowers which take years to blossom and there are flowers which take many years to come. The longer it takes, the deeper it goes. But this requires a commitment from one heart to another, from one being to another. This need not even verbalized. To verbalize love is to profane it. It has to be a silent commitment, an eye to eye communion, a heart to heart flow, a being to being. It has to be understood at the deepest core of your being, immediate, meditatively, but not say. Remember, love pronounces aesthetic beauties through silent gestures. It is an unseen but realized truth. Love gives the smile of in innocence to a child. Love gives wings to the bird to float in infinite horizon of the being. Love expresses mystically through a being. Love is the essence of your being. But man cannot trust himself. It is easy to trust the priest and the law more than trusting one's own inner voice. It shows such it shows such people cannot trust their love. However, certainly they trust the law. Therefore, forget all about relationship. Learn how to relate. Learn how to relate to the flowers, plants, rivers, mountains, breeze. The rustling of the bees through the tree leaves. A smile of the innocence, silence of the mind, and the gestures of the being. Once you are in a relationship, you start thinking, you start taking each other for granted. That is what destroys all love affairs. The woman thinks she knows the man and man thinks he knows the woman. However, in reality, nobody knows. It is impossible to know the other because it is continuously flowing. Each time, each moment, the water in the river flows. Once you blink your eye, a new water is there. So too you are continuously moving. The other remains a mystery and to take the other for granted is insulting and disrespectful to the being. To think that you know your wife or husband is very ungrateful is and is basically wrong. How can you know a woman or a man that is continuously growing that is consciousness? Each one of you, man or a woman, is a process, a continuous process of change and transformation. 
They are like the river of consciousness that is flowing incessantly. Never consider man or a woman as a thief. The woman or a man that you knew yesterday is not there today. One without whose son never rose in your life. Now things have changed. The same person creates no more ripples in you. One without whom sun never rose in your life. Now things have changed. The same person creates no more ripples in you. So much water has gone down the bridge. He or she is somebody else. Totally different. Relate again. Start the process again. But never take it for granted. Remember the man or the woman that you slept with last night is different in the morning. Consciousness is flow and man is consciousness. Therefore look at his or her face again in the morning. He or she no, is no more the same person. Much has changed. Much water has flowed. Remember just as you cannot enter the same river twice, so too you cannot relate to the same person in the same way. Man is a flow, not something static or dead. Incalculably, much has changed. That is the difference between a thing and a person. Furniture in the room remains the same. It never changes because it is their article of use. But the man and woman are no more the same. They are alive. You cannot use them as commodities. Explore again. Start again. This is the way of relating. Relating means you are always starting afresh. You are continuously trying to become acquainted. Again and again you are introducing yourself to each other in many ways. You are trying to see the many faces. You are trying to see the many facets of the other. You are discovering each day something new, something exciting, something exhilarating, something unique. Just as each day you cook, you make a different you do not make dishes, you cook. You cook different dishes. How come that these dishes are different? Because you are a growth. Your eyes are full of wonder, all like those of a child. Each time you proceed to relate to the love of your life. You are trying to penetrate deeper and deeper into his or her realm of inner feelings into the deep recess of his or her being. You are trying to unravel a mystery which cannot be unraveled. But there is a joy. There is a tremendous joy in unraveling the mystery that cannot be unraveled. This is the way of innocence, the way of a child. That is the joy of love. That is the exploration of consciousness. The moment you relate and do not reduce it to relationship, then the other will become a mirror to you. Relating is divine. Relationship is worthy. Exploring your beloved, unaware of the fact you are in reality exploring yourself as well. Getting deeper into the other. Knowing each other's feelings, thoughts, deeper springings, you will be discovering your own deeper spring, strings as in relating lovers in mirror each other. And then love becomes a meditation, a transcendence. Indeed, that is the secret of love. Each moment you explore, you find it has not been explored. Many more days.